What's going on YouTube? CJ here from the Training Collective. Today we're going to be talking about ways that you can use WhaleStream to find trades. We're going to be looking at three different companies today using three different ways of scouring through the WhaleStream options platform. We're going to do so quickly and efficiently. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Wait, look in the link below so that you can get $10 off your WhaleStream subscription. Again, Click the link down below and get signed up today. Let's get into it. Okay, so first things first, we've got historical flow on here. We can actually just flip that off. Don't even really need to see it. What we're gonna be looking at first is we're gonna go to Top OI. So that's gonna open up a new tab for us here. We're gonna be looking at a few different things uh, as far as what is open interest. One open interest is also commonly referred to as OI. It refers to the amount of contracts that are available on a certain strike for a company. So looking through the right side over here, you can see that 28,000% over here on laser. Okay. For expiration 909, that would be this week put at 750 open interest, 32,000 plus 32,289 contracts. That's a lot. Let's go find this trade. So we're going to go over here really quickly. We're going to go to laser. Let it load up. We'll flip our historical flow on and boom. Here's our order quantity, almost 30,000 here. We click into it and we'll see that this order was written. Okay, so what does this typically mean? Well, if somebody's writing a put, it means that they're bullish on a stock. Keep that in mind. We're going to be watching laser moving forward okay so we'll x out of this we'll look for our next trade here we can get out of laser again what we're actually going to look at this time is going to be top flow but for dark pool and equities so if we're looking right here we can see that we have several different options here at the top signature prints dark pool orders all orders the one we're going to look at public orders public orders we're going to look at this one here at the top one order, 10.4 million shares on MMM at 1.25 billion. Wow, let's go look at that trade. Over here on the left side, we'll be able to just hit the premium one time. So if you click it, it normally looks like this. It just shows all the dark pool and equities flow. If you click premium one time, it's gonna show you the biggest dark pool orders from the top down. You're gonna see MMM right here at the top. Again, this is something that you might want to be paying attention to. Let's go into MMM and see all the other dark pool orders. So we click MMM and we're able to see all the options flow over here on one side and all the dark pool and equities. So what we can see over here on the left side under dark pool and equities is this trade was executed after hours, three minutes after hours, 1.25 billion, 10.38 million shares, that's a lot. We can also see after hours, 870 million. After hours, 236 million, 214 million, 117 million. Something's going on with MMM. We're gonna be wanting to keep an eye on this. Moving forward, might be worthwhile actually peeking at a chart. Why don't we pull up a chart here? And then then look at it on a one hour chart. We'll see that we're in a big downtrend. Something might be happening with MMM. Do we have more room to the downside or to the upside? Well, either way, this stock's on my watch list moving forward. Okay, the last one we're gonna be looking at, the way we're gonna get to it, it's just by simply having the quantity here. Right up here at the top, you can see quantity in gold with the arrow pointing down. So we'll look through here. We don't wanna pay attention to SPY or IWM, XLF, you know, the sectors or uh, indices or any of that stuff. Let's look for something that's really going to pop out here and let's make sure that we have historical flow popped on for orders this week. So I'll look from the top down with quantity, give it a second to load, and boom, right here, this is immediately catching my eye. So right here we have laser. This was our laser contract we just looked at. This is our first trade. We see SPY, we're not paying attention. IWM, not paying attention to EMB bonds, not paying attention to it. 
RGTI. Laser's already on our list. RGTI is right here, and then M's over on the other side. Let's look into this RGTI trade. Let's go over here to RGTI. We'll see a lot of sold puts. Might be worth looking at a chart on RGTI. RGTI. See the one hour here? What does it mean when somebody sells puts? It means that they're bullish, so we might be basing here. Shares are pretty, pretty, pretty daggling cheap. 240 a share. Now, what were they actually trading here? Well, they were selling a 250 put here. Selling it. Okay, and typically that is something that's bullish. Again, the quantity is something to be concerned about here and the overall premium. Okay, looking at the top of the screen over here on Whale Streams, you also see 1.52 million sold premium this week so far on RGTI. So I'm going to be looking at this company moving forward. And that's three tickers in just a few minutes. Now we know what to look at. Thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, look at the link down below in the description and get signed up for Whale Stream today. Get $10 off. And we'll see you in the next one. Take care.